Hey everyone, DJ Roll Guy here, and today is Scratch Live Users Rejoice. Today, well not today, it was, I don't know, last week, or it was really, really recently. Um, the public beta for Scratch Live 1.9.1 came out. 1.9 just came out, but now 1.91, 1.9.1. Uh, they're releasing now uh, for everyone to uh, try out. And it, it, tons of bug fixes. Right now it's still a little bit buggy because um, it's only the second uh, release of the uh, beta. Uh, but uh, there's a few things in here that a lot of people will like. Um, anyone feel like um, using six virtual decks? You can now. Let me explain. So right here you got the Scratch Live GUI. And right now the song playing is Diddy Bop. The Chu Fu Ghetto House remix or fix, whatever. Um, but anyway, as you can see here, you got the SP6. Um, everyone knows this, everyone loves this, but you see a few extra buttons. Let me open up everything. But one of the biggest things right now is this modular because right now you have all of these cool tools to play with. Right now, I have my samples loaded on one, two, and five and six, but now um, on three and four, uh, what I'm doing is thanks to. 1.9.1, uh, uh, there's a pitch slider on all the all the docks and a volume slider on all the docks, so now they can all be used as um, virtual decks. Um, also, you have uh, an option, because before you can only play from the start, or if there was a hot cue on uh, any of the samples down here, it just played from that hot cue, or just played the first loop. Now you can actually choose where you want it from. You can play from the start, you can play um, from loop one, loop two, first cue, that kind of stuff. Um, and so that's really helpful. You have a little um, volume slider and gain knob on every channel. You have a VU meter on every channel. And now one of the coolest features that I am going to be using a heck of a lot is, okay, so let's, let's say I was playing this song and I wanted to mix, uh, do a live mashup of three songs or two songs with the decks, but I don't, I can't sacrifice the deck. You can do now. You can do instant doubles on the virtual decks. So this is when a MIDI controller comes in handy because now over here on my uh, trigger finger, I don't feel like doing any cuts. So sorry, guys. Um, let me move that out of the way. So now I have these four of my samples and on these two are the play buttons on the SP6, four, uh, 3, and 4 of the docks. Now I have pitch sliders on 3 and 4 and volume faders on 3 and 4. So now I can do an instant double by going over here. I'm going to drag the song from the deck down to here. And now you can hear the phase going. So now I can cut out that channel. I gotta be careful because I'm getting used to this still, but it would be playing, but then I can cut out the channel, move the crossfader over, and so now it's playing from the SP6. See, now the turntables are stopped, they've stopped spinning. It's playing from the SP6, which is really helpful. I love this feature, and so now I can go over, mix a song into this, and then scratch over the mix. So, there's a lot of possibilities out of 1.9.1. I'll put a download link to the side if you want to download it. Um, mind you, it's still a little bit buggy. The usual don't use it your gig kind of thing, use it at your own risk. But you know what? It's worth it. It's a lot of fun, guys. Practice and enjoy it. <laughs> 